Hello class, so my name is Ms. Gondamas and today we will be talking about an art activity and the art activity is inspired by Carl Walker. The Carl Walker lesson is called Who Am I? So with Who Am I? we're going to be identifying ourselves, our gender, and our race through object cutouts as negative space and the area around will be positive space. Now here are some race examples for you guys. Geography of your country or a food to life from your family roots. It's really up to you what you want to do. Alright, now here are some gender examples. You could do a hair bow, a truck, a silhouette of yourself. Like I said, up to you guys. And last of all, identifying yourself. Here are some examples. An animal lover, you could do dog paws, cat paws, a silhouette of pet choice, you could be a superhero, you could be a nurse because you like to take care of people, so we'd be doing something around band-aids, you know, a nurse hat. There's also an artist, so you can do something like a paintbrush or crayons, a marker. Here's an example that I already have ready for you guys. And I'm going to explain to you what each one it is. So I identify myself as a female. That's why I decided to do like the side profile. You know, you can see like my hair bun, my face structure in a sense, you know, my side profile. And then for corn, it identifies my race, meaning that corn comes, it's like the staple diet where my family comes from. We're from El Salvador. And, you know, we use corn for tortillas, we use it for pupusas, we use it for tamales, there's just so many options. And then I identify myself as a dog mom because I love dogs and, you know, dogs are just the greatest. I actually have two little dogs. A pure schnauzer named uh, Pearl, she is already seven years old. And then I have Hazel, she's a mixed uh, breed, she's a schnauzer and a Yorkie, and she's four years old. So, this is what we're going to be doing. Now, in order to get this, this is your negative space, these black images right here. And then the white is your positive space, the area around it. All right? So this is what we're going to have. So, you need bristle paper. If you don't have bristle paper, that's okay. You can always improvise. You can use, you can use construction paper or printing paper. There is no right or wrong, you know? every You can always make it work. So bristle paper is a little thick, as you can see. I don't know if you can tell here on the on the video, but this paper is like heavyweight. You're gonna need bristol paper. You can use two papers depending how many. Like I'm gonna do small images. I'm gonna do nothing crazy. Um, but if you need more paper, that's fine. You can work with more paper. Two papers or more. Or you can use construction, or you can use any other set of my construction paper, white paper, printing paper, whatever you guys can find. But it has to be black and white specifically. If it's not black and white, we can't make this happen because we're working with negative and positive space. So, the bristle paper, some glue, or I like to use preferably this glue. You need, if you don't have glue, you can always improvise. And use tape, you know, tape does the job as well, so you can always use tape as well. You need a pencil, of course, to sketch out your images. And then scissors, the most important one. <clears throat> and then me, since I don't have any black paper, I'm going to improvise. And I'm going to use black paint, a paintbrush, and water. All right. So we're going to start sketching our ideas. All right. So, first things first. How am I going to identify my gender? I'm just going to do the same thing I did, which is my side profile. And I'm just going to sketch it out. After everything's been sketched out, you can 
we can do the easy route, which is going to be, we can paint these really quick. Um, we can either paint them, color them, actually really quick, I'm going to just either paint right here on the side. And I'm going to just paint these. have dried we can start cutting them so this is what I'm just gonna do I just all right so this is my first cutout and this would be how I identify myself as a female and then white sheet of bristle board we're going to paste our pieces and you can place them in whatever order you want it's up to you you don't have to do it you do not have to do it like me like i said in any order you want this is art you can do it however you'd like all right so first off myself i identify myself as a female but you guys can do your interpretation of female or male however you like you don't have to do a silhouette of yourself identify yourself as a female you can do you can do like a teddy bear you can do a hairbrush you can do a watch a ribbon um there's many options you can do for a female for the male you can identify yourself with a car you fishing there's many options you don't have to do that silhouette like myself so this is myself I did myself my side so I'm gonna use this glue so I can show you guys so this is what it looks like it almost looks like boogers <laughs> but here we go I'm gonna put this over here I'm gonna put mine right over here so boom it's it's literally stuck there as you can see it's stuck it's not gonna fall off or anything all right so that's one all right so now we're gonna do some dog paws i'm gonna put the dog paws this time down here for the dog paws i'm gonna put some regular glue so you guys can see And then lastly, the corn to identify my race. All right, so for the corn, we're gonna use tape. I'm using all three examples so you guys can see that with all three, you can make it work. You know, there's nothing wrong with improvising here. Not everyone has all their materials and that's okay. We always have something around, laying around that can work and does a job. And then, boom, we are completed. Right, it's been completed. Here is your ending result of what your Carl Walker, who am I inspired Latin, would look like.